and there's a look to the west towards Highway 427. And beyond that is the city of Mississauga. I'm here on the city's west end in the former city of Etobicoke. And hello there. It is Wednesday, February 21st. The time is 3.46 p.m. and it's about 9 degrees Celsius. And this street here is Dundas Street West. And I just took the 112 bus from Kipling Station and I got off at this stop. For this one, we're going to be heading into one of Toronto's regional shopping malls, one that I haven't been to for quite a while. That is just over there. That is Cloverdale Mall. So we're going to go in and take a look around and see what things are like at the mall. isn't the most pedestrian friendly of areas as we cut through a beer store parking lot. And this street here is the East Mall and I used to work in an office at 304 the East Mall that was known as the Valhalla Executive Center. That was demolished a few years ago to make way for a condo project. There's been all kinds of condos popping up in this area. And that is the plan for where Cloverdale Mall is. There's a redevelopment notice posted over there. Let's see if we can walk by that and get a look. But the owner of the mall has plans to redevelop the property. And I think they want to have something in the neighborhood of 5,300 residential units. We'll take a look at what the posting says. But the office where I worked was just to the north here. That was my first job at a university. I remember going to this plaza a number of times after work. Scruffy Murphy's Irish Pub is still there. And it looks like they're building a sales center for the planned development at Cloverdale. The future of Cloverdale is here. So much of the mall will be torn down, if not all of it, although there'll still be some retail. I think there'll be a community center and what looks to be a number of parks. It's definitely got master planned community vibes to it. But the area just over there is formerly a more industrial area and in fact you can see the old Honeydale Mall that actually opened after this one that has since been abandoned. There's a former Walmart. When Walmart left I think in 2004 that mall closed up soon after that. This mall was opened back in 1956 and it was originally an open-air shopping center That other mall across the street didn't open until the early 70s. There we go. A number of buildings up to 48 stories. That says over 4,000 residences with parking for 5,100 cars and 3,200 bikes. A variety of mixed use and single use buildings anchored by integrated retail and open space areas.
So we'll start at the south end of the mall and we'll walk through to the north end. When this mall opened, it was anchored by a Dominion supermarket, which is now a metro. And I think an SS Kresge, which later became a Kmart. Well, let's head inside. There's a winner's. And Kitchen Stuff Plus has closed down. It's not goodbye, it's see you later. Oh, they're just renovating. Oh, it looks like they're reopening on the Queensway. It's also worth noting there's a much larger mall just down the street from here called Sherway. And that's where that Walmart relocated to, just across the street. Winners is very similar to Marshall's, to the American viewers out there. It's even operated by the same company. So this mall features over 70 shops and services. So we are here. And where 190 is was a Zeller's at one point. And I think it was even a Hudson's Bay department store before that. And during the pandemic, it was a vaccination center. There's a Timmy's. I remember coming to the food court here at lunch. There was a restaurant called Pick and Choose where for eight dollars you could get a stone or a foam container and fill it up with as much food as you could fit in it. We'll see if that's still here. Pen Dragon Hobby. And there is Highway 427 just out that side of the mall. This is one of 19 regional malls in the city. And there are five much larger malls, the Eaton Center, Yorkdale, Fairview, Sherway, and Scarborough Town Center. I'm going to not so stealthily evade that security person. So there's a Dollarama down here. Remember a cell phone. Stores of Freedom, a Bell, a Rogers, a Fido. Some vacant storefronts. I wonder if they're having trouble attracting anyone knowing that the mall is basically doomed. That redevelopment, I believe, is just a proposal at this point. I think the writing is firmly on the wall for this place. Center, shoe club. 
walking on a cloud. Most of these are smaller retailers. Mix Max, Rock Rose. I haven't even heard of most of these places. So this will take us down towards the metro. We'll just head this way and loop back. And holy crap, there's a Sunrise Records. I remember going to the one at Dixie Mall. That's how you used to have to get concert tickets. Go in there nice and early to get tickets to see the Foo Fighters. Feels like we stepped into a time machine. There's even a home hardware in here. vacant retailer. I don't know when they're planning on closing up shop. But there's probably a few years left. And this was the Dominion supermarket when this mall opened. They rebranded as Metro. I think that came in the late 90s. is a lot bigger than the metro where I shop at, at the Young Eglinton Center. Oh, well, back into the mall. owner of the small is Quadrio property. The big malls are operated by Oxford and Cadillac Fairview. Can't be too many Sunrise Record stores left. But the question on my mind is that the pick and choose still here. I'm pretty sure where this AW is used to be a KFC. So I remember the pick and choose being right next to KFC. Holy shit. Look what we have found. Pick and choose large from $14.99, small $11.99, extra small $6.49. Not sure how hygienic it is having the food out like that, but it's awesome to see that's still there. It's a bulk food store. And a Kohl's. You don't see too many of these anymore. I have a feeling if it wasn't for the planned redevelopment, this wouldn't really feel like a dying mall. 
There's a showcase, otherwise known as an as seen on TV store. This whole wing in the mall feels quite dead. And this is what used to be a Hudson's Bay department store. And it later became a Zeller's and then a Target. And Target famously pulled out of Canada in 2015. I have no idea what this is. Fairgrounds? Maybe a giant ball pit. Oh, public racket club. That makes sense. There you go, get your pickleball action in. I remember working at Cloverdale Mall, or sorry, just north of here. When word got out that this Nintendo, <laughs> I, I must be on something, that this Zellers here, or what was Zellers, had Nintendo Wii's in stock. And I came over on an extended, not so official or approved break and picked one up. Pretty standard looking mall on the outside. So what I'm going to do is record a video now from here to Kipling Station. I'll be heading down the East Mall to Dundas and then walking over to the station's most eastern entrance. So that is pretty much it for Cloverdale Mall, kind of a relic from the past and soon to be a very large scale construction site. And let me know your thoughts and comments down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down below if you wish to support the channel that way. There's also a super thanks button appearing below the video and I think that's about it. Oh, they've got a Mr. Suvlaki here as well. I wish I didn't eat lunch. I could have reminisced over some pick and chews. Anywho, hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink!